I don't even know whether I'm not smoking or whether I'm smoking. I can't tell the difference anymore. <laughs> I don't have bottles in here. It's just two pop bottles. <laughs> I think they need to move the warnings along, though. You know, people know that it's bad for you by now. They need to get inside your head more. You know it's not doing you any good, but they should address the reason why you're smoking. None of this smoking kills or smoking is bad for you, any of that rubbish. Just talk about it. Let's get to the matter. Say, they should say, call her. <laughs> <laughs> and then they put all this disgusting stuff on the back to make you feel bad. And that's horrible, actually. That's just rude to mention that it damages your spark. <laughs> There's a horrible image of these yellowing, shuffling, flat caps spiraling. <laughs> or trudging up to this lovely, pristine, white, salad eating egg. <laughs> Nudging each other to see who's brave enough to go and ask for a fiver. <laughs> but you know your health. kind of overrated. I mean, a lot of the things that will guarantee you health are intolerable. Those foods, the green things that reproduce as you're trying to eat them to clear you off that like this thing, they never go away. <laughs> if you saw the spinach, if you spinach saw spinach on your shoe, you'd be frightened. You'd say, get it the fuck away from me. Why put it in your mouth? <laughs> this is the whole thing. Butter, cream, and pies, natural, wholesome foods. <laughs> things you're meant to eat. Man was destined for the pie, not the common salad. That is, that is the fruit of evil doers. <laughs> Sorry. People who plot. People who are ungenerous in their conversation. You know, just you know, you know, somebody might come to your house for dinner and you might say, well, you know, I really think they should have bought a bottle of wine. You never make remarks about people like that if they don't bring fruit. <laughs> Not even a pair. You didn't even bring them. <laughs> yeah. Because you know what's good for you. You don't really want it. This is the truth. You don't wake up at four in the morning and think, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, apples. <laughs> you eat it because you have to, because they make you. Because if you go to the supermarket, that's where the mirrors are. You look at yourself and think, oh my god, I'm a piece of shit, I better eat some <laughs> Before I die, right here. <laughs> but it won't do you any good, you know, not at the end. Nothing will sustain you. 